Welcome to San Francisco, the vibrant city by the bay that captivates visitors from around the world with its unique blend of culture, history, and innovation. With its iconic landmarks, diverse neighborhoods, and stunning natural beauty, San Francisco offers an unforgettable experience for travelers seeking adventure and discovery. Join us as we explore the sights and sounds of this dynamic city, where every street corner tells a story and every moment is filled with excitement. Welcome to San Francisco, where the possibilities are endless and the memories are unforgettable. Number 10. Palace of Fine Arts The Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco is the last remaining structure from the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition, listed on the National Register of Historic Places. This neoclassical building is beautifully situated on a lagoon that reflects the mirror image on the surface of the calm water. While ducks and geese drift by, the palace has been restored, along with the grounds, and today hosts art exhibitions and cultural events. The Palace of Fine Arts Theatre primarily presents comedy performances. Described as a Beaux-Arts wonder, the palace was restored in the early 1960s, duplicating the original with a towering colonnade, bus relief urns and a dome ceiling with allegorical paintings. Number 9. Chinatown Established in 1840s, San Francisco's Chinatown is reputed to be the oldest and one of the largest and most famous of all Chinatowns outside of Asia. Many of the Chinese who settled here were merchants or immigrant workers, working on either the Transcontinental Railroad or as mine workers during the Gold Rush. The tourist section of Chinatown is mainly along Grant Avenue, from Bush to Broadway. Number 8. Alamo Square Alamo Square is a charming park located in San Francisco, California, known for its iconic row of Victorian houses, often referred to as the Painted Ladies, situated atop a hill. The park offers panoramic views of the city skyline, including the towering skyscrapers of downtown San Francisco and the picturesque Victorian homes below. Visitors can relax on the park's grassy slopes, take photos of the famous Painted Ladies, or enjoy a picnic while soaking in the breathtaking scenery. Alamo Square is a popular destination for locals and tourists alike, offering a tranquil retreat from the bustling city streets and a glimpse into San Francisco's rich architectural history. The park includes a playground and a tennis court, and is frequented by neighbors, tourists, and dog owners. Number 7. Transamerica Pyramid Located in the heart of the financial district, the Transamerica Pyramid is San Francisco's other famous icon besides the Golden Gate. According to its architect, William L. Pereira, a pyramid is the ideal shape for skyscrapers, offering the advantage of letting more air and light in the streets below. Finished in 1972, the Transamerica Pyramid has a height of 853 feet and is still the tallest building in the San Francisco skyline. It stands as one of the city's most recognizable landmarks and a symbol of its economic vitality and architectural innovation.
Number 6. Lombard Street. Located between Hyde and Leavenworth Streets, Lombard Street is famously known as the crookedest street in the world. Although it is neither the crookedest street in San Francisco nor the steepest, the one-block portion of Lombard Street that contains eight hairpin turns was created to reduce the hill's natural steep slope. The speed limit in this section is a mere 5 miles per hour. This unique and scenic feature has made Lombard Street a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world to witness its serpentine path and enjoy panoramic views of the city below. Surrounded by beautiful gardens and elegant Victorian houses, Lombard Street offers a charming and unforgettable experience for both locals and tourists alike. Number 5. Golden Gate Park Once an area of sand dunes, Golden Gate Park is a large urban park with windmills, bison, and a carousel among its many attractions. It is about 20% larger than New York's Central Park, so unless you have a bike, you'll want to plan which area you want to visit. A popular tourist attraction is the Japanese tea garden with beautiful ponds, bridges, and Japanese-style structures including a tea house. Golden Gate Park also boasts numerous recreational opportunities, such as biking, hiking, picnicking, and paddle boating on Stowe Lake. It hosts various events and concerts throughout the year, including the iconic Outside Lands Music and Arts Festival. Number 4. Cable Cars The world-famous cable cars run on three lines in the steep streets of San Francisco between Market Street and Fisherman's Wharf. These cars are a fun ride, especially if you get to stand on the running board. They are perhaps a bit impractical for everyday use though residents do, in fact, use them on a regular basis. The cable car is such an attraction that, especially on weekends, it takes longer to wait in line to ride up Powell Street than it does to walk the short but sloping distance. Cable cars are not only an integral part of San Francisco's public transportation network, but also a cherished symbol of the city's unique charm and character. Operating since the late 19th century, these beloved vehicles offer both locals and tourists a memorable and scenic way to explore the city's landmarks. Number 3. Alcatraz, often referred to as the Rock. The small island of Alcatraz served as a lighthouse, a military fortification, and as a prison. It was home to some of the most notorious criminals of the time including Al Capone and Machine Gun Kelly. Surrounded by the freezing water of San Francisco Bay, Alcatraz was believed to be inescapable. The most famous attempt was carried out by Frank Morris and brothers John and Clarence Anglin using an inflatable raft made from several stolen raincoats. Today, the island is a popular tourist attraction and a historic site. It is operated by the National Park Service and is open to tours, offering guided tours of the prison facilities and stunning views of the San Francisco skyline.
Number 2. Fisherman's Wharf One of the most popular tourist attractions in San Francisco, Fisherman's Wharf runs all the way from Pier 39 through to Municipal Pier at the end of Aquatic Park. For over a century its historic waterfront was the hub of San Francisco's fishing fleet. It is still famous for having some of the best seafood restaurants in the city. Other tourist attractions at the wharf include souvenir stores, historical buildings, scenic vistas over the bay and the famous sea lions at Pier 39. With its lively atmosphere, delicious cuisine, and iconic attractions, Fisherman's Wharf is a must-visit destination for tourists exploring San Francisco. Number 1. Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge spanning the Golden Gate, the strait between San Francisco and Marin County to the north. The bridge took four years to build and was completed in 1937. The Golden Gate Bridge was the longest suspension bridge span in the world when it was completed and has become an internationally recognized symbol of California. The famous red-orange color of the bridge was specifically chosen to make the bridge more easily visible through the thick fog that frequently shrouds the bridge. As one of the most photographed bridges in the world, the Golden Gate Bridge symbolizes the spirit of San Francisco and serves as a testament to human ingenuity and engineering prowess. It remains a beloved symbol of the city and a must-see attraction for visitors from around the globe.